Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Waco has its eyes on the future of GA. Also, first paying customer on New Shepard will be the youngest to fly to space, and Strato 716 prototype ready to make Air Venture debut. Happy Monday, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Waco has its eyes on the future of GA. A&N received an invite from Waco Aircraft to visit their new headquarters in Battle Creek, where they have made serious upgrades and improvements to what had always been a little cool airplane company. New facilities, upgraded capabilities, and a very slick new FBO are but the tip of the iceberg as we tour the production facilities for the Waco YMF-5 Classic radial engine biplane and the more conventionally powered Great Lakes 2T1A2, a favorite for aerobatic trainers. The company has taken a very aggressive approach to building a facility that can keep up with the future, which allegedly include plans for much more than the two very popular biplanes they built already. One major addition to the mix is an intriguing project called the Waco Kitchen, a very upscale airport restaurant overlooking the humongous ramp with visual access to much of the production facility. This is one of the most impressive efforts of its kind. After the break, MCAS Cherry Point Air Show to feature Blue Angels. More news after these messages. Air Venture may be your destination, but shouldn't you also have a great experience during your flight to and from? Battle Creek Executive Airport is the home of Waco Aircraft, the world's leader in new production sport biplanes. Enjoy a beautiful new FBO, extreme fuel discounts, a glimpse into Waco's manufacturing facility, and the gourmet Waco Kitchen, an upscale dining experience serving farm to table American European fusion cuisine. Experience Air Venture. Experience Waco. We'll see you on the ramp at KBTL. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call around the patch. MCAS Sherry Point Air Show to feature Blue Angels. MCAS Sherry Point Commanding Officer Colonel Hubber announced that the Navy Blue Angels will be featured performers of its 2021 air show and 80th anniversary celebration scheduled for September 25th until the 26th. The sudden opportunity to book the Navy's premier aerial demonstration team influenced Cherry Point's leader's decision to host the major community outreach event. MCAS Cherry Point and 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing will put on a free world-class air show that will include a number of military and civilian performances. Dauntless Air enters 2021 wildfire season with expanded fleet of 15 fire bosses. As the 2021 wildfire season gets underway, aerial firefighters Dauntless Air has added two new fire bosses to the nation's largest fire boss fleet. Dauntless will put its fleet to work on exclusive use and call when needed contracts with the Bureau of Land Management, Bureau of Indian Affairs, and state fire agencies in Minnesota, Idaho, Washington, Alaska, Colorado, and Oregon. Already, the 2021 season is outpacing national averages. More than 34,000 wildfires have ignited since January. Demo-1 spacecraft commander Doug Hurley retires. NASA astronaut and former U.S. Marine Colonel Doug Hurley is retiring from NASA after 21 years of service. 
His last day with the agency was July 16th. Hurley's career highlights include 93 days in space on missions that include the final space shuttle flight and the first crew flight of the SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft. Hurley was spacecraft commander on the first crew flight on the SpaceX Crew Dragon, which launched on May 30th of last year and safely returned to Earth on August 2nd of last year. Epic Aircraft receives FAA OK for the E-1000GX. Epic Aircraft has received FAA type certification for its E-1000GX model, which is the next generation of the Epic E-1000. The new E-1000GX is equipped with the GFC 700 automated flight control system and the Hartzell fiberglade composite propeller. The GFC 700 is a truly superior product, offering full integration with our G1000 and XI equipped flight deck, along with impeccable ease of use and advanced safety features. It's a perfect upgrade to our world-class line of E1000 aircraft, said Epic CEO Doug King. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. First paying customer on New Shepard will be the youngest to fly to space. Blue Origin has confirmed that Oliver Damon will be the first paying customer to fly on board New Shepard, marking the beginning of commercial operations for the program. He will join Jeff Bezos, Mark Bezos, and Wally Funk aboard the first human flight on July 20th. At 18 years old and 82 years young, Oliver Damon and Wally Funk represent the youngest and oldest astronauts to travel to space. The winner of Blue Origin's auction who has asked to remain anonymous at this time has chosen to fly on a future New Shepard mission due to scheduling conflicts. Club for the Future announced this week the auction gift has enabled Cub to donate 1 million to 19 nonprofit organizations, all of which are working to support the future of living and working in space. Flying on New Shepard will fulfill a lifelong dream for Oliver, who has been fascinated by space, the moon and rockets since he was four. Oliver graduated from high school in 2020 and took a gap year before continuing his studies to obtain his private pilot's license. This September, Oliver will attend the University of Utrecht to study physics and innovation management. After these messages, Stratos 716 prototype ready to make Air Venture debut. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back, Stratus 716 prototype ready to make Air Venture debut. The Stratus 716X. An experimental, kit-built version of the upcoming FAR Part 23 EASA CS23 certified Stratos 716 will be making its public appearance at EAA AirVenture 2021. The 1500 nautical mile range 716 gets its name from its 0.7 Mach 402 knot cruise speed single turbofan engine and six seat cabin. It will cruise at 41,000 feet. The Stratos Experimental 716X is a stepping stone to the Stratos Certified 716. It conforms to the same precise aerodynamic loft contours, and it's built to the same strength standards as the certified model. Starting in 2022, Stratos will offer 10 to 12 716X kits that will help 
the firm refine its manufacturing processes and assembly line efficiencies. The $2.5 million 716X will offer 95% of the performance of the 716, but cost $1 million less. The 716X comes complete with a freshly overhauled 3600-hour TBO PWC JT15D5 turbofan and a full suite of G3X avionics. It can be ready to fly in as little as nine months using Stratos Builder Assist affiliate firms. Stratos is located in Central Oregon, a region that has become a center of excellence for manufacturing certified general aviation aircraft, including the Lance Air Columbia series and Epic E1000. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. And feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.